Welcome. There is many a tale to be told of paranormal presence in homes and workplaces, and not all apparitions are detrimental. The following real-life account of a young lady's experience at an exciting new workplace will open your eyes to what paranormal beings get up to at work. Case study number one, on the job. Late on a Thursday afternoon, I received a call from Jo. She was concerned for her oldest daughter, Kate, who had recently started a new job and felt uncomfortable and scared in the workplace. Kate heard loud footsteps where no one was walking and the creaking and turning of doorknobs. A deep sense of unease filled her mind and body as she sat in the empty office. Kate just couldn't focus on her work as her mind constantly wandered, listening for the sinister footsteps and wondering who was in the building. She wanted this problem solved if she was to work in this place. Early the following day, I focused on a photo of the building as I remotely looked into the property. As usual, I asked permission from the land guardians to enter the location and look for and remove any paranormal intruders. As I closely looked at the photo of the property, I felt the presence of male energy dominating the environment. This presence stood silently in the doorway of the building with his arms folded. He was observing me as much as I was observing him. I asked through my dowsing if any dark or demonic beings were present and was met with a quick no. I intuitively knew this energy being was not from the darker realms. I politely inquired if the being was a spirit and was met with a shuddering wave of annoyance which gave me a sudden irritating headache. The Presence did not consider himself a spirit, ghost or ghoul and thought it rude of me to ask. I questioned if he needed assistance and was met again with a strong feeling of irritation and toe-tapping, as if I was wasting his time. The name Harry appeared in my mind and then the name was quickly corrected to Harold. I asked if this was his name and he said yes. He preferred his proper name. There were no nicknames for Harold. As I spoke with Harold, he suddenly appeared in my workroom. His shimmering energy stood steadily to the right of my desk. He observed me again with his arms folded and abruptly asked what I wanted, as he was on the job. My mind instantly slipped back to another clearing job where I had heard that term before, and I now knew why Harold was at the premises. I politely explained to Harold that a young woman named Kate now worked in the building often alone, and she felt anxious and unsettled when she heard loud footsteps, rattling doorknobs, and felt the ominous presence walking past her room. Being the only person in the office, Kate's mind ran rampant with fear. Harold told me he had seen Kate but didn't realise his presence unsettled her so. He explained in great detail that he was a security guard and was doing his twice daily checks of the building. He had no intention of leaving the job he loved so much as it gave him a great sense of pride to care for the property. The thought of transitioning into the afterlife was of no interest to Harold, as his commitment to the building and its security was top priority for him. After he made this defined statement, he gave me a quick nod and promptly vanished from my workspace. I rang Joe the next morning and explained the situation regarding Harold. She said Kate would be relieved and kind of excited to think that she had such a helpful, diligent spirit watching over the premises day and night. Now when Kate enters the office every morning, she happily calls out, Good morning, Harold! and goes about her work, no longer frightened by his presence. Leaving the office at the end of the day, Kate knows that the building is in good hands 
as Harold is on the job. Thank you for listening today. This tale is the first of many. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell if you don't want to miss out on any intriguing glimpses into the paranormal world around us.